We should pass there in about three or four minutes. Thanks. Well, uh, excuse me, but you made a mistake, Reverend. I couldn't help hearing you're going to Tucumcari. I peddle goods around here, and I better tell you you're on the wrong train. I think the nearest stop to Tucumcari is Amarillo. By getting off at Santa Fe and returning by way of Amarillo, you should be able to get right where you're going. You see, the train doesn't stop at Tucumcari. This train will stop at Tucumcari. Why 
you stop? Something going wrong? Somebody pulled the emergency cord. Hey, mister, you just can't pull the emergency cord and jump off. Tell me, why'd you stop that train? If you want to get off, you... Well, the railroad company be mighty pleased to make any arrangements for any passenger if you want to get off here, sir. I did get off. Thanks. All right, let's go. Go ahead. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Guy passed by here in person and had it on those two zeros. He was spitting mad when he saw it there was offer, and he wasn't flattered. He said, a measly thousand bucks for me is much too little. I'm worth a lot more than that. <laughs> That's right, he said that, and then he added the zeros on the thousand. <laughs> there isn't anyone got the guts to face that killer, eh? <laughs> At least, it's been that way till now. Pardon me, ma'am.
this. There you are, thousand dollars. What do you know about Kavanaugh? About a week ago, he was seen at White Rocks. Thanks. If it's of any interest to you, somebody else dropped in to see me about him. Who? I never seen him before. His name is uh, Manco. A 
alive or dead, it's your choice. Let Red go. Isn't the sheriff supposed to be courageous, loyal, and above all, honest? Yeah, that he is. I think you people need a new sheriff. See you.
Go on, go ahead. Senor. You've seen what takes place here. chance to shoot me, but not in the back. Let go. Wait. 
When you hear the music finish, begin. Or do you think you can? Let's start. Check those figures again. Yes, sir. Good day, sir. Good afternoon. Mortimer. Douglas Mortimer. Mortimer. Virginia, isn't it? Carolina. Oh, that's right, Carolina. Can I help in some way? I'm looking for a first-class bank. Oh, but exactly. Yeah. The largest and most secure bank in the territory. Well, Mr. Mortimer, I want to assure you our bank here has everything, all the safeguards you're looking for. I don't doubt that, but I have a large sum to deposit. Now, um, suppose I'm a bandit. Uh, bandit? A very dangerous bandit with a gang of killers. Now, what would be the most impossible bank for me to rob? In your case, uh, the one bank I would suggest is the Bank of El Paso. Not even Indio would dare to attack that one. <laughs> It's not a bank. It's a fortress there. Hmm. What time's the next train for El Paso? 11.30. I'll telegraph to my colleague in the bank of El Paso uh, that you're going to arrive. Thanks. take a bath? My name is Fernando. The stable is right here and that is your hotel. Why this hotel and not some other? You probably wouldn't like that other place as much, senor. You'd have to spend half the night shooting cockroaches. At this hotel, the rooms will cost you so much less. And there's a landlady at this room, senor. Married? Yes, but she doesn't care.
That's the bank. As soon as I get some money, I'll put it in. Well, you're gonna have to earn it first. I have 50 cents here for you if you'll let me know when anybody you've never seen before here in El Paso comes to town. At the hotel, senor. The stranger just came out of there. Where is he staying? The hotel. Let me know if you see any more strangers, hmm? Sure, senor. Sir? I want the room right above. I'm sorry he's occupied. It's too bad. The hotel's filled to capacity. I'm sorry the room you want is our best. It's always occupied. By who? Check the register. Mary! It's Senor Martinez. It's free now. That room is taken. I'll see to it. He's nothing but a wild, vicious animal. He's tall, isn't he? You're just dirty. Before he comes down here, give me my oh, bill. Oh, there's no need to check out. Give me I'm my bill. Like everything is going to be all right, Mr. Martinez. I'll give you another room immediately. It's the best in the whole hotel, the best. No, we'll no, let him have the bridal like suite, eh? No, no, Mary, the bill. I like to stay on a Don't go, Mr. Make Martinez. It out immediately, I have an appointment Senor elsewhere. Senor Martinez. Yes, uh, 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 uh. Senor, what do you want? Uh, uh. I don't wear them. I'm oh. honored that you thought of me. Thank you. waste a minute coming here. In your calls and Groggy comes running right away. And Sancho? If you're waiting for Sancho, I'll go and come back in about four years. He's in prison. For four years. No more. no dinero, no son. Bad for him. Not so bad for the rest of us. Man who gets caught doesn't deserve respect, huh? What's it all about, huh? Not just listen. A bank at El Paso. Let's see. We'll say this is the inside of the bank. Nino is the safe. Hmm. Which weighs three tons and can't be opened with dynamite. Hmm. There's the part with two cashiers. This is the manager's desk. 
right in back is a fancy cabinet containing bottles for offering drinks to the rich depositors. There's the main door and opposite the billy double wall. What happens, Groggy? Let's say you've already killed the two cashiers and the manager. And for the next few minutes, you're the boss of the bank. Now what? Hmm. The time's been wasted, Indio. Mm -hmm. Right, the waste of time. Especially groggy to blast open that damn iron safe. We'd have to be using so much dynamite that the whole bank would just disappear. And you'd all go up with it. And besides, the presence of a safe alone doesn't always signify that there is money inside. To help you understand what I mean, I would like to relate a nice little parable. Once upon a time, there was a carpenter. You don't think a carpenter can make money, eh? No, you're wrong. This one did well, because he was a builder of safes. There was a banker once, who decided he must have his iron safe disguised to look like a wood cabinet. To get it made, the banker goes to our carpenter for the job. And one day, as destiny has it, the carpenter is in El Paso. He happens to walk into the bank there. And what does he find? The cabinet. Since he'd worked on the cabinet, he spotted it right away. From that day on, he couldn't work anymore. Pity, because... There was something he had to do. It was this crazy idea. And it stayed. And it stayed. To put his hands on the money inside. Get in there and grab all the money. Sure. You think that carpenter was lucky the way things work out. That he was lucky to go in just that bank. It wasn't true. His good fortune stopped that day. Because later, as a prisoner, he ran into me. <laughs> the carpenter told me the story, and I tell you. <laughs> the money isn't in the safe, it's right in this. Almost a million dollars in it. Your colleague in Tucumcari told me that this bank has the largest deposits in the whole state. Yes, that's correct, Mr. Mortimer. Here at the bank at El Paso, we have half a million dollars reserve on hand. I see. You sure this bank is secure enough to hold that much? From the moment your money is on deposit here, Mr. Mortimer, you can sleep without any worries. Besides, when the bank is closed, an armed guard always remains here, and a patrol is on guard outside. Even the Bank of San Francisco isn't that well protected. Exactly. Uh, the truth is, Mr. Mortimer, to try robbing us would be so futile that only a complete fool would attempt it. Yeah. Or a complete madman.
More news, amigo. Not a stranger in town? Yes, and I know something else. Hmm. There was another stranger I didn't tell you about. Listen to me, you sawed off little runt. I want to know how many men there are all together. Well, there were two. Now there's two more. Where? In the saloon. Why do you choose my place to commit suicide? I know that man. It's a miracle you're alive. Why should a man walk around with a pistol and then let himself be insulted? It's mighty strange. Well, uh, sir, if the hunchback didn't shoot you, he had a very, very important reason, that's all. I was thinking that myself. Thank <laughs> you. 
Everybody's in a hurry, that's right. With your damn good for nothing trains, your damn trains. Two, 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 three! Disgusting! One day someone from the railroad comes here to see me and he says, Prophet, the railway's gonna go right past your house. Ah, is that so? I says. Mm hmm. Yep, that's right, he says. All those trains gonna go right past here. And the best thing for you, Prophet, is to sell your land to the company or else we'll buy Baker's. He lives next to your place. Now put the tracks here and that'll make you go crazy. What will you say? Will you sell out to our company, Prophet? Oh, is that so, says I. <laughs> he was very anxious for me to sell out. Oh, you know what I told him about the railroad? You know what I told him he could do with his railroad? <laughs> <laughs> You know what my decision about selling was? Well, you said no. You're right about that. No to him and his damn trains. <clears throat> I wouldn't, no! Look, listen to me, old man. You were supposed to be a prophet. I didn't come here to listen to you rattle on about trains. I wanted to find out about this man. It's obvious you don't know anything. No need to be insulting. If that's all you came here to do, you can clear out of my house fast before I lose my temper. Understand? Hey, where you going, hmm? I guess I better leave before you go and lose your temper. What's the matter with you? Why are you so dang stupid? Hurry up, give me that pistol there. Yeah, right there behind you. Hurry. Yes, yes, that's the one. Now hand it over. There she give me that gun. Man you asked about. There's only one question. How does he carry his gun, huh? He wears it here, across his belly? Yeah. Well, why didn't you tell me that in the first place, my boy? Of course I know the man you're trying to find out about. Of course I know him. He's Colonel Douglas Mortimer. Mortimer, a brave man, a soldier. He was known as the best shot in the Carolinas. A great soldier. Now he's reduced to being a bounty killer, same as you. Because of trains. Because of the damn trains, damn them!
Take you to the station. The gentleman's leaving. Hold it. Take it back. Take it to the station. Go inside. The station. Just like the games we know. Peking dog, a trick maybe. Can somebody in my business go around with a contraption like this? That contraption almost sent you to your grave. Well, forgetting one thing, Colonel, I was shooting at your hat. Well, I was only shooting at yours. But I recall firing first. Hmm. Boy, I've reached almost 50 years of age with my system. How many men last long in these parts? How long do you expect to last? Mm, much longer than that. 
when I get my hands on Indio and that ten thousand dollars, I'm going to buy myself a little place, possibly retire. Yeah. Well, I don't believe we ought to start another fight. But you forget one small detail. What's that? I want to get my hands on Indio too. Sure. After me. Or before you. Or at the same time. Is that a proposition? Mm-hmm. An equal partnership. Why? Why should I? Well, I can think of three reasons. First is, there's 14 of them. Yeah, that's a lot. Uh-huh. A lot for me. Yeah. No small number even for two of us. Second reason? Second reason? The second reason is you could make it 15 to 1. Don't forget, I want to play in this game, too. As you're aware, when two hunters go after the same prey, they usually end up shooting each other in the back, and we don't want to shoot each other in the back. Then the colonel dies, hmm? <laughs> All right. I'll be generous. You can have the reward for Indio. And I'll take the reward for the rest of the band. No. All wrong. No, Indio's worth $10,000, but the rest of the band adds up to much more than that. Blackie's worth four, Wiles worth three, Nino two. Nino's one. Hmm? Well, Frisco's worth two. Well, that's 10000 Yeah, but there's a few more that add up to more than that, I'm sure. How do you know that? I have my information, Colonel. No, nope. we're all said and done. I think I might just take you up on your proposition. Hmm. Let's drink to this partnership. To the partnership. With no tricks, of course. No tricks. Now then. You realize, of course, we're going to have to figure out some way to get them in the middle. Yep. One from the outside, one from the inside. There's no other way. One of us will have to join Indio's band. <laughs> Why are you looking at me when you say one of us? Because they don't know you. Wild sees me and this humble catch on fire. Hmm. Tell me, Colonel. How do you propose that I... Uh... Join up with Indio. Maybe bring him a bunch of roses? Well, you could do that, but I'd suggest you take him Sancho Perez. Who's Sancho Perez? A friend of Indio's. Right now, he's cooling off. He's cooling off in Alamogordo jail. How do you know all this? I've got my information, too. Naturally, you'll have to arrange for his um, release. Naturally. Tell me, Colonel. Were you ever young? Yeah. And just as reckless as you. Then one day something happened. It made life very precious to me. What's that? Or is question indiscreet? No. The question isn't indiscreet. But the answer could be.
<laughs> they told me you were put away. You'd be resting for four long years in prison. <laughs> 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 Who is that with you? He got me out. And a friend of mine. Uh, why did he help you? Did you ask him that? <laughs> yeah. Amigo, why did you help me out? Well, it's such a big reward being offered on all you gentlemen that I thought I might just tag along on your next robbery. Might just turn you into the law. That's the one answer that will prove you all right. And you arrived just in time, too. The job is already set. It's tomorrow. The place is the bank in El Paso. Not far from El Paso is a little town, Santa Cruz. Tomorrow, Blackie, Chico, Paco, and you, amigo. We'll rob the bank in Santa Cruz. Shoot, kill, get every gun in the area after you. Especially those from El Paso. Any others around, we'll take care of them. And then after the job, we'll all meet again at Las Palmeras. Where are you going? There's gonna be any shooting. I gotta get my rest. Hey, amigo. You know, when you told that story yesterday, I fell for it. A big joke, wasn't it, amigo? Who said I was joking? I don't get that. If it's true... Too bad you have to die. What is... They should be at Santa Cruz.
Listen, Shorty. The owner's band have just robbed a bank here in town. Why don't you just sit down and send out the alarm to El Paso and the rest of the towns around here and warn them, right? But, mister, I didn't hear any shots at the bank, and I sure would have. You might hear one. The alarm.
other side.
What are you doing here? You're not running away, are you? No, I'm not running away. I'm going after them. I'm going alone. Our partnership is dissolved. Now, boy, let's wait and talk it over. Yeah, well, all we've done is talk. I've been reasonable with no results. Now, take it easy. We only knew the Santa Cruz part of his plan. Well, you were the one who had their strategy all worked out. Now, I'm going to meet India. I see. I better go along. I'm going alone, me. I have an appointment with Indio, and I'm not going to let anyone else interfere. You're certain about that? That's right, Colonel. All right, in that case, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's not bad. Indio sent four men to Santa Cruz. And one man returns, a new man, without a scratch. Mm -mm. Indio's no idiot. When you write up to him again and show him that little nick you got, he might believe you. And don't forget that as of today, the whole gang is worth $40,000 more. That's the reward offered by the bank to get the money back. Is the partnership operating again? Just how do you figure? Try to convince Indio to go north. And then go along the Rio Bravo. It's a good spot for an ambush and we can get him between two fires. Yeah. You on the outside, me on the inside, right? Mm-hmm. North? North. We need time to open it. This is the right place. After Santa Cruz, we headed for El Paso, and they hit us from all sides. And you just saved your own skin, isn't that right, you yellow b- <laughs> You did your part of it. Let's go. Which way we headed? North. North? Along Rio Bravo Canyon? Why not? Seems like a good place for an ambush to me. You know a better way to go? Yeah, south. Hmm. Right to the border? Yeah, they'll never expect you to cross the border now that the alarm's been sent. East. There's a place I know about, Agua Caliente. Here we are. That's Agua Caliente. Yes, I have many friends here. It looks just like a morgue. Hey, look out. It could be one so easily. They don't like strangers, huh? No. They don't like anybody. What? You never saw a friend here shoot, right? No. Did any of you? Hmm. We don't know how you'd be in emergencies. I was thinking, this is the right place. I got a way you can show the men. <laughs> How's that? Go into town alone, amigo.
Bravo. Telling me how you got here? I just reasoned it out. I figured you'd tell Indio to do just exactly the opposite of what we agreed. And he's suspicious enough to figure out something else. Since El Paso was out of the question, well, here I am. Rum, a double. Tequila for all of us. Smoke just after I eat. Why don't you come back in about ten minutes? Ten minutes, you'll be smoking in hell. Get out! Stay calm. On your feet. Could you do it? Count to three. open the safe for you. What safe, senor? The one from El Paso you got there ahead of me. However... However... Open that safe and you're gonna destroy half the banknotes. I can open it without blowing it up. Off it. It's easy to steal the trouble is in keeping the loot. Dig it out. Now every man in New Mexico is after us. All they have to do is catch one of us with some of this money and we'll all end up the same way. 
We're going to wait here for an entire month if I think it's necessary. Then everybody will get his share. And you'll wait a month to get your money. <laughs> Naturally. I'll be in the tavern. The air around here stinks anyway. Just like the food. But the month will go fast. you all alone with uh, so many problems to solve it's all right here
wish you didn't have shot the apples off that tree. Put it on. See that they're tight securely. Sleep, keep your eye on them. Why let them live? All things at the right time. What do you mean? What's he doing now, the sheriff of El Paso? Right now, looking for the cash that was in the bank. Right. And suppose he finds the bodies of these men just outside El Paso. With lots of money on them. What will the sheriff think? Well, he... Uh, that's right. What is it, Nino? A change of plans. In your one shoe. It's not loaded. I think. 
think you should get out fast now. Here's your guns without bullets. And listen, don't you let Indio find you both around. I know you don't like questions, Indio, but why are you doing this? Nino, how long have you known that Monko's a bounty killer? I found out tonight. Why? I knew he was one from the first moment he arrived. The other one's also a bounty killer. So I have an idea. They'll be useful to us. We'll try it. Those men are a lot better than mine with a gun. So we let all of them get mixed up in a gun battle. But that won't really matter to me. Or you. Because we'll be far away, right? And we'll have all the money. Go on. Go on and wake Cuchillo. did it. Why don't you look at the knife? It's mine. And it shouldn't be there, should it? Oh. But I didn't kill him, Indio. I didn't do it. Cuchillo, it's difficult to prove that. Indio, I am innocent. One of the horses is outside. Let's see if you can get to it. Body killers get away. I. I want to back. Right now. Right now. Right now! What are you doing here? Go on, get them back! Those two body 
killers are sitting on our backs, and I tell you, they must both be killed right away. We can't let them go free. Just wait, Groggy. They'll be back here. And this way there'll be two of us. Can they come back here? You men could have killed them. Who? They? <laughs> Are you sure of that, Indio? But they haven't. <laughs> I thought something different. You made the boys ride on out to make sure that... They're both killed and fast. I'm not as dumb as the rest of them, Indio. There was no help for it.
Watch. It's been a long time that I wanted to ask. I can see that it means a lot to you, Indio. Why?
Listen to me! This is Colonel Mortimer! Douglas Mortimer! Does the name mean anything to you? When the chimes end, pick up your gun. Try and shoot me, Colonel. Just try. Thank you.
a family resemblance. Here. Naturally, between brother and sister. My gun? My boy, you become rich. You mean we've become rich, old man? No, it's all for you. I think you deserve it. What about a partnership? Maybe next time. Any trouble, boy? No, old man. Thought I was having trouble with my adding. It's all right now. Thank <laughs> you. 